Okay guys, so I wasn't even sure if I was going to film this haul or not. It's pretty small. The reason I went in to make this order, this is a bathing garden haul, obviously, as you can probably tell by the title. I was running out of sugar scrubs, and bathing garden has one of my favorite sugar scrubs, so I knew I wanted to go in and place some an order for some sugar scrubs, and then I also got some a few wax tarts as well. But there were a few scrubs that were from like the summer collection that I wanted and I don't know why I mean I usually get excited for bathing garden stuff but for some reason I think it's just my mood I wasn't going to film this haul and I just wanted to just say out there if anyone is depressed or you know if you're feeling suicidal or anything it, call somebody and talk it out I, the last couple days I've just had like, I'm going to get teary eyed <laughs> going to get teary eyed again. I don't, I'm not a crier. I am not a crier, but sometimes, you know, life just gets the better of you. And there's like nothing really, I mean, I'm obviously not going to talk about personal issues on here, but some of those days, you know, you just have days where, I don't know, it just feels like everything is working against you. And so, and I know people have other issues as well that they need to talk about and stuff like that. You know, people have medical issues or they have cancer or someone they love has cancer and what have you. But honestly, really the only thing that kept me going the last like couple of days is really my daughter. She's the one that like keeps me, gosh, I'm getting like t all teary. <laughs> She's like the one that keeps me going and making me feel like I have a purpose. So, okay, so I had to stop for just a minute, but what I'm trying to say is if, if you're feeling bad or depressed or whatever, find someone to call, find a friend, anyone. There's hotlines that you can call people that have volunteers that do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, just know that there's help for you out there. I mean, hell, you could call me if you wanted to. Just, you know, private message me and, you know, I'm always willing to talk. Uh... Actually, maybe I shouldn't say that because there might be some creeper. <laughs> there might be creepers on here, but most people I know that comment on my videos are friends, so I don't want—I don't want to give a creeper my phone number. So let's go ahead and let's just jump into this before I lose my. I'm not going to say it because it's a bad word. Uh. Yeah, so I got scrubs and I got a ton of Halloween samples and now that I'm smelling the Halloween samples and F me if I just don't love Halloween too much and I get excited about the sh the shapes and the smells and all that. I don't know. There was also a scent that she had this summer. It was called Summer Melon and Mint and I act actually warmed a little sample tart of it and I love that. That was great. So I kind of want to go back in and maybe pick out a few things I'm not sure though I'm like I'm not really the sense I picked out this go around I'm not really sure what I was thinking I placed this order six weeks ago and that's a bad thing about some of these vendors that you have to wait for now I guess I'm getting kind of spoiled by super tarts <laughs> you order six weeks and then you wait for your you know you wait for your order and then you're like well why did I order that I don't know I must have had a reason at the time. So the first sample, let's get into this. Sorry, I jibber jabbed. Uh, guava berry gelato, and this is an aloe butter sugar scrub. And so I, I believe I've had this before. I didn't get sent descriptions or anything. I'm just going to go straight off of sniff. And this is just a melon and berry scent. It's the best I can describe it. I'm sure there's something more fancy on the site. I think there was, yeah, there was another one in here. It was a, is this a sugar scrub? Yeah. Oh, this is actually a pumpkin butter sugar scrub. That's interesting. I'd be interested to see what the ingredients in here are. This is Haunted Hayride. I don't remember anything about this scent except it has hay scent in it. <laughs> I just always remember seeing it at Halloween time and it having the traditional Halloween notes. <clears throat> this one actually smells pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's different is what it is. It's, hmm, that's very different. I like that though. I just always remember wondering what hints of hay smelled like. I remember that was one of the scent descriptions in there. So the first sample I got, and I just have to, I don't know if you 
Well, you can probably see it through the camera, but look at how cute. All of my shapes came in these little pumpkin, pumpkin shapes with like, I think they have some glitter or sparkle or something on, on them. So this first one is pumpkin pie spice. So yeah, this one's uh, just a, as it says, pumpkin pie. It's spicy. It's a. It's not like those sweeter pumpkins that I'm getting. I mostly get spice out of here, really. It's cinnamon. That's what it is. It's a lot of cinnamon going on in there. It's not like sweet pumpkins that I usually go for. So this one here is super cute as well. This is wicked sweet. Look how adorable that is. Okay, so Wicked Sweet has something going on in here that not necessarily pleasing to my nose. It's maybe like a, it smells like a caramel or like a butterscotch, which are not really my note, scent notes that I prefer. Yeah, butterscotch or caramel or something kind of, it almost smells like kind of like alcohol, like an alcohol. No, I'll have to look and see. This is pumpkin butterscotch chip waffles. I think I've smelled this one before and I remember that I don't like it. I'm not really a big fan. I think it's got pumpkin pecan waffles in it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Oh, that's what it is. It's butterscotch. I'm not a big fan of butterscotch. That's really my problem with this one. Although in here it doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell too strong. I had, was it like a butter beer scent that was mostly butterscotch from another vendor? And yeah, it just about killed me. <laughs> I remember I put it on and everybody in the house was like, turn that off. Uh, Tombstone Dust. She always, I love her labels at Halloween time. Super fun. And then of course she's got the fun little pumpkin going on. Okay, tombstone dust. What are you? It, I smell apple. And I feel like when I first smelled it, I almost feel like I smelled like a... I thought it was lime, but now I don't smell it. I don't know. There's definitely apple in there. Like I said, I'll try to put scent descriptions across the screen if I remember or if I have time. So this next one is Hades and Persephone. And again with... A label. Whoa, sorry about that. I always hit my handle on my freaking camera. So again, with the pumpkin shape, I love it. Ooh, okay, that that one's interesting. That one's almost like a manly cologne type of note. Almost kind of soapy, soapy man. Not obnoxious, like the guys who do like axe or you know those really strong ones it almost smells more like a like a more sophisticated man not an old man but like an an older man who knows his way around i don't know just i mean yeah that one's really good i'll have to look at the scent notes on that i really like that one as well and this is the thing about samples that really kills me and that's why i love that she gives out samples because then i start smelling i'm like oh that smells good Whatever, so here we go again. This is Mummy Mademoiselle. Mummy Mademoiselle, yeah, I tried to pronounce that right. I'm sure there's supposed to be like a French accent with that. This one I've ha I have had last year and I believe that I um, de-stashed it because there's almost like a honey note in here or something that's like similar to honey that makes it too sweet for me. So I was, I'm was i not a fan of this one. Uh, and then of course on here, it says Elixir Enchantment Preserved, just super cute. Let's see, this one is Bella Morte. That's Italian, I think. I think this translate it translates into a beautiful death. Oh, it says right there, a beautiful death, side effects. That's cute. I looked this one up too because I was curious what it was and it said that it translated into a beautiful death which is pretty cool. So oh and then look at how adorable I don't know if you can see the little cemetery guy like I said I love all things Halloween so anyways 
this smells like like kind of like dark fruits yeah dark fruits I don't like it it's not my favorite there are others in here that I'm enjoying a lot more okay let's see what else do we have here oh crap okay booberry mansion this is okay there's I like that blue that's a pretty blue that's like one of my favorite blues ever yeah this is booberry scented I think with like cake or something uh, booberry is not one of my favorite scents anymore I used to really like it it's really sweet I do think I got it in a scrub though maybe I, I like I do like the scrub so all right I think that is all of the samples everything was really packaged really super well so I don't even know what scrubs I have in here so let's go ahead and start this so a hundred percent a hundred percent sunshine and I think yeah I trying to remember what the scent oh it's like lemon sugar and like tea and I was just really fascinated by the scent description so I was like I'm gonna grab that one because I like different scents oh yeah it's lemon sugar and like black tea and something else I really get that lemon Oh, okay, this one's interesting. It's like a lemon tea. Her lemon is really soft and bakery. It's not over lemony because I've been really hate, kind of hating lemon. But the tea really kind of jumps in there. That one's a nice one. I remember when I first smelled it, I wasn't impressed. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the power of like scent description. But I read the scent description. And I was like, ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> so... I grabbed Sweet Maddie, and when I looked at the scent description, I think it has Violet and Jasmine and something else. This one's a really pretty tart as well. So I don't know if you can see, she put like an embellishment in there. You know those like see-through deals, but there's that. Sweet Maddie, I, I think this must be some sort of Lush dupe because this smells exactly like a Lush store to me. I really don't like Lush scents and wax anymore, but I mean, I like the smell of Lush, so I like this, but warmed up, I usually don't like this. I mean, this smells exactly like a bath bomb, so if you want your house to smell like a bath bomb, this is the one for you. And I, uh, Lush does have a lot of jasmine in their products, so that's probably why I'm getting that. Uh, I did do a haul before, that a previous haul, I think, it's probably if you just look search a bathing garden I have the pictures of all of her like summer scents and I had already hauled this one so if you're interested in that I have another video that I go into more detail on the scents because I don't have scent descriptions but I ordered another Crankenberry I really loved the scent and I love that pink and blue together that is I don't know what that is it's like it looks like a little huckleberry or like a um what am I thinking of oh blackberry I've never seen a huckleberry. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, blackberry. <laughs> it's of course pretty tart. I just remember I really enjoyed the smell of this when I got it. Of course, now that I'm smelling, I don't know why I do this to myself. Now that I'm smelling it, yeah, I don't know. It's very berry, obviously. There's more stuff in there. Like I, I want to say there's like vanilla or something in there as well. I, for some reason, when I smelled the other tart, I, li I liked it. I remember saying that I liked this tart, and now I'm smelling it. And see, that's the deal with ordering things six weeks six weeks ago is you're like, why? <laughs> Take me to the sea. This is one that I had got as well. I wanted a second one because I really liked the scent. This one is like a sea fresh air scent, but I think it has like a splash of grapefruit, so it really gives it kind of a different scent to it. Yeah, it's got that grapefruit in there. And I really like that fresh air with this hint of grapefruit. I think that really makes it different and unique. And of course, the clamshell is super cute on that one. Okay, so let me pull out the scrubs. I'm trying to remember what all I got. I'm not going to open them because... Okay, seven layer cake. This is a great, great scrub. I don't like it in wax form just because it's way too sweet for me. But in scrub form, it is really really good and of course I just love the way she always I don't know I like her labels a lot and I think there's I think that's like a chocolate rose in there which is always fun in the shower 
think I got a matching whipped soap with that as well, but we'll get to that here. Oh, this is what I really wanted is I really, since I love that Take Me to the Sea so much, I saw that she had a salt scrub and I like to self tan. Well, I try to self tan in the summertime. I'm not always successful at it. This is Shea Butter. Salt. It's a salt scrub. I've never had a salt scrub from her before, but I think the ingredients... Oh yeah, she had some really good ingredients in here and that's what drew me to this. She has pink Himalayan sea salts, black, I think it's Hawaiian sea salts, just like really good stuff in here. So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna try this. So I would not recommend this on like broken skin or for shaving whatsoever. You would use this before you would shave or you are gonna burn the hell out of your legs. So um, I'm actually surprised that it's kind of black. I wasn't expecting it to be so dark, so. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little scared, but I guess since it's from, or, you know, it's Hawaiian and, or Himalayan or whatever, a lot of stuff in Hawaii, if you ever have been there, they have black. Where is that that I saw that? I don't know. I feel like in my travels to Hawaii, I saw, I remember seeing a lot of black, like, body products, you know, because they have the volcano there. So um, I did grab a scrub in Crankenberry be just because uh, the, I enjoyed the wax tart so much that I went ahead and got. And also the rose hip seed oil, that just sounded really nice to me as well. So I really like the you know additional ingredients that she throws in. And then I don't know if you can see that, but she's got some blue like pebbles on top. So I'll set that over there. Let's see. Oh, I have another tart in here as well. Okay, so I have been obsessed with finding Country Bear hotcakes. I don't know what my deal is. I had one hotcake scent, or a few hotcake scents from a few different vendors, and I kind of sort of got obsessed with it. So when I saw that Bathing Garden had Country Bear hotcakes, I was like, hey, well, let's give it a shot. And this one's really pretty. I like the white and the colors that she put on top. And look at that blueberry. That is adorable. So yeah, so as Angie says, it's not going to matter because we're just going to melt them anyway, so F it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. So this one to me, and the issue I've had with Country Berry Hotcakes is there's this kind of weird note to it. I don't know. I feel like I got Country Berry Hotcakes from someone else just recently and it smelled a little bit different. Maybe it was Tiffany Candles? I have to go smell my Tiffany candles and compare the two. This one has a, that weird note. It might go away on warm, but you know, we'll see. So there's that. And then my last thing, she always puts like the prettiest paper in here. Like this blue, I adore that blue. I don't know. I don't know why I felt the need to show that, but I love blues. Seven layer cake. Oh yeah, seven layer cake, cake in the coconut oil whip soaked and who can really go wrong with coconut oil I mean coconut oil and anything and I'm sold so coconut oil is like the I don't know the magic the magic elixir of life apparently lately among people so yeah so that was it I think that was my entire order let me just look and see Yep, I got everything. So yeah, she's got salt scrubs up now and I never tried one, so I really wanted to try. That's why I ended up placing the order. I might go back and have just like a little look-see around and see what she's got for Halloween. Uh, some of those Halloween scents smell pretty good. I do have quite a bit of Halloween stuff and fall scents. I, if you saw a couple of videos back, I, I pulled out all of my fall wax. Yeah, I think I pulled all of it out. So I'm gonna try, and I have two huge boxes. But the thing is, is I like to let stuff cure for like a good year. So really I would be buying these probably for next year, which sounds kind of counterproductive because you may not like the same scents next year, but I don't know, that's just the way, I don't know, that's just the way it works. So anyways, I hope you found something helpful here. Sorry I didn't have scent descriptions, but I will try and put them across the screen so you I um, see if I'm, see how correct I am when I'm describing the notes because like I said, I didn't look any of the send descriptions up beforehand. So anyways, okay, thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. Bye.